In the early 1800s, there was a Scotsman named George Thompson, who was by profession a government office clerk. But his passion was collecting the traditional songs of the British Isles, particularly his native Scotland. He liked the tunes. He didn't like the words or the general piano accompaniments that were used in the drawing rooms of the day. So he commissioned outstanding poets of his day, including Sir Walter Scott and Robert Burns to write new lyrics. And feeling there were no fine musicians in the British Isles, he went across the channel to find men who could write accompaniments or symphonies for the songs, as he called them. One of the men he commissioned was Beethoven, who set 164 of these songs. We're going to do two for you now. The first one is a song describing a Scottish regiment returning from the Battle of Waterloo, and it's called Bonnie Laddie, Heeland Laddie. <laughs> That silver moon, Bonnie Laddie, Heel and Laddie, glinting draw your belt a boon. Bonnie Laddie, Heel and Laddie, belt it glad and bonnet blue. Bonnie Laddie, Heel and Laddie, have ye been at Waterloo? Bonnie Laddie, Heel and Laddie. Heels me on your tartan trues, Bonnie Laddie, Heel and Laddie, tell me, tell me all the news. Bonnie Laddie, Heel and Laddie. Bonnie, by the way, Bonnie, laddie, heel and laddie, blue jar with his beard say gray, Bonnie, laddie, heel and laddie. Or oh, that dour and deadly duke, Bonnie, laddie, heel and laddie, scattering Frenchman with his hook, Bonnie, laddie, heel and laddie, some say he that day may rue, Bonnie, laddie, heel and laddie, ye can tell him this be true, Bonnie, laddie, heel and laddie. She tell me, gin ye can, Bonnie Laddie, Heel and Laddie, Ought O'Donnell and his men, Bonnie Laddie, Heel and Laddie, Tell me of my kilted clan, Bonnie Laddie, Heel and Laddie, Gin they fought or gin they ran, Bonnie Laddie, Heel and Laddie.